things that I've done since I was a child. It's listen to hip hop, collect comic books, and play video games. I've been playing Halo since the first Halo. First time I was playing Halo online with people and watching and seeing, you know, the future of video games, the whole game, the whole multiplayer, everything else. It's just so revolutionary. I've been into it just as much as my son is. You know what I mean? We would play four player, split screen, and Halo all day. I used to be a crackhead gamer. I'm competitive, so I sit there until like seven in the morning sometimes. Just sitting there going at it. I had the Xbox set up in the studio, and so I'm playing while I'm mixing the record. Like it's scheduled on my calendar. I have wake up, take kids to school, whatever breakfast, and then we First time I saw the commercial for Halo 4, almost fainted. I feel Halo 4 is definitely giving Halo the crown again. It's one of the best video games of all time. I've always been on Halo since like my first Xbox that I had, not before Xbox 360. It was like a party. You had all your homies sleep over, hook up to the big flat screen and play Halo. I used to have a clan name named Mr. Exhibit. And every time I got in a room, I spent half the game with, are you Exhibit? Are you the real Exhibit? And they would listen to me and follow me around. <laughs> Reload this! So then I just changed it to, to Conky Dong, and now it's great. It's hard to describe like why you take to certain games sometimes. It amazes me creatively where they go. The people that create these games put a lot of time into it, you know? I want to take that class at Full Sail. I want to know how they create that stuff. Me and my wife like to play a co-op campaign and beat the game first. I really get into it. I really enjoy it. Like you're just out of space on the ice. It's a different storyline from the original Halo, which is now you're, you're facing the Prometheans who are, are the new enemies. When it comes to music, I want to listen to the whole album because that's the way it was put together. Same thing with the game. This is like dramatic, color dramatic. But getting lost in that world that, that those people that created the video game create for you is always cool. When you're in that zone, it takes your mind off all the chaos in your life. If we lost a close game, I would come home and play for hours. Six, seven hours, I just play all night long. Halo is just like, I don't know, it takes me to a different world, you know what I'm saying? It's therapeutic for lawyers, doctors, athletes, everyone. I mean, I call it the new golf course. It's just like I play, you know, with these record executives. I be Bow Wow, I be with Drake, Tiger. Ice T and I have a clan together, so it's the new golf course. The first time I went from sucking to I'm better than everybody was the greatest thing ever. I pull up my Xbox profile on my cell phone, like show all my gamers that I'm the best. I'm like, everybody know that I'm number one rapper slash gamer. Anybody, any other rapper want to challenge me, come see me. You know, the culture has grown so much. I mean, it's something that you can choose to do with your family. There is something there for everyone. My wife is a gamer. Sexiest thing I've ever heard is coming in through the garage, and I hear in the distance, she has a shotgun to the face. That, to me, is more attractive than anything, like lingerie, I, none of that. For you to have something so astronomically great already in one, two, three, and you came up with another one? Halo 2 was dope. Halo 3 was dope. Well, they've gone more in Halo 4. Yo, this <laughs> It's the best Halo. Railgun is really dope. It's an interactive movie. I mean, it's literally become 
almost the, the Star Wars or Star Trek of, of this generation. It's the best ever. You know, it's, it's literally become a cultural phenomenon. Everybody's gonna be playing it. I'm not good, I'm excellent. Shotgun to the face. Honky dog. Come get it, bitch.